Do you think that an all meat approach is an effective way to manage diabetes and reverse insulin resistance? If so, you wouldn't be the first. But even though that countless people and many experts advocate eating a carnivorous diet, the research is pretty clear that the carnivore diet is not the best strategy for managing diabetes in the long term. In this video, we're gonna discuss the carnivore diet and show you why eating red meat, white meat, and processed meats are a serious long-term health risk. We're also gonna show you why positive short-term results from eating an all meat diet can be misleading in the long-term. And we're gonna show you the real long-term effects of eating meat compared to the long-term effects of eating a plant-based diet. And we'll also show you the proven, tested, and guaranteed method to master diabetes once and for all. So what is a carnivore diet? The carnivore diet is a dietary plan which recommends eating exclusively meats, fish, and animal products like cheese and butter. Though the term carnivore diet itself is simply a general description of all diets that recommend eating exclusively animal products, many popular advocates prescribe a unique version of the diet. For example, some align these all meat diets with other recent fads like the low carb, zero carb ketogenic diet, and the paleo diet, both of which make carbohydrates the enemy in an attempt to combat rising human health issues like obesity and diabetes. However, despite how tempting these diets may seem to our taste buds, and despite the fact that they can have great short-term results, the research shows that they can be disastrous in the long term, especially for those living with any form of diabetes. One of the problems with classifying a diet as carnivore is that there are many different types of animal products available, some of which are more problematic than others. Fish and organ meats seem less problematic than red and processed meats. In 2015, the World Health Organization classified red meat and processed meats as class one carcinogens. And let's be very clear about what a class one carcinogen is. Foods that are classified as a class one carcinogen have been proven to cause cancer. They're not just suspected to cause cancer or likely to cause cancer. They have been proven through rigorous scientific research to cause cancer. And that's not the only risk of eating meat. In fact, you should make sure that you're aware of high risk compounds that come from the processed meats, including leucine, heme iron, nitrates and nitrites, sodium, advanced glycation end products or AGEs, and saturated fat. Now we go into a lot more detail about how these compounds can affect your diabetes health and the relative risks that they present. And you can find that in two locations. Number one is the article that's linked below this video, or you can pick up a copy of the Mastering Diabetes book. That being said, will adding a little bit of meat to your diet directly cause cancer or diabetes? Well, that's actually unlikely. This holds true the same way that one cigarette won't cause lung cancer, nor will one scoop of ice cream cause obesity. But the research shows that when eaten consistently, Processed meat and red meat can dramatically increase your risk for many forms of cancer, for heart disease, and for insulin resistance, which by itself sets the stage for prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. So why do people think a carnivore diet improves your overall health? Well, let's be clear. Removing processed foods and artificial sweeteners is, a, is very beneficial to your health. And the focus that the carnivore diet places on natural unprocessed nutrition is a step in the right direction. But the current trend of carnivore diets includes an emphasis on low carbohydrate or zero carbohydrate nutrition along the lines of other recent popular diets like the paleo and ketogenic diet. The main reason why people living with diabetes are drawn to the carnivore diet and other similar diets is that when you significantly reduce your carbohydrate intake, you can see quick short-term results, including rapid weight loss, lower average blood glucose and A1C values, lower fasting blood glucose levels, a flat steady line on your continuous glucose monitor, and lower insulin requirements. But there's a huge asterisk on these results. The catch is that these are short-term effects that come with a large cost to your long-term health. Now, in order to understand how these results can be so misleading, it's necessary to understand insulin resistance, which is the underlying condition that's present across all forms of diabetes, including 
type 1 diabetes, type 1 and a half diabetes, prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. Now, insulin resistance results from the accumulation of excess dietary fat in cells that are not designed to store large quantities of fat, specifically your liver and your muscle. And when they do that, they inhibit the action of insulin. Now, if you're living with insulin resistance, cells in your liver and muscle simply can't uptake glucose from your blood as efficiently as before. And this results in a traffic jam of both glucose and insulin inside of your blood, which causes hyperglycemia or high blood glucose, as well as hyperinsulinemia or high insulin in your blood at the same time. And this is extremely important to understand. The low carb diet's answer to insulin resistance is to play the carbohydrate avoidance game rather than increasing the action of insulin in both your liver and your muscle. This carbohydrate avoidance game often results in enticing short-term improvements that we just mentioned. However, it's very important to understand that even if your blood glucose and insulin concentrations decrease at first, a low carbohydrate diet doesn't reverse insulin resistance. In fact, it's biologically impossible. It actually increases insulin resistance in the long term, which increases your overall chronic disease risk. A high fat, low carbohydrate diet increases insulin resistance over time, which can worsen diabetes, promote the death of insulin producing beta cells, and cause long term negative effects, including weight gain increased insulin use over time, elevated LDL cholesterol, increased risk for coronary artery disease, brain fog, low energy, digestive discomfort, and more. So by eating a low carbohydrate diet, you're likely trading short-term results for significantly increased chronic disease risk in the long term. And in our opinion, that's not worth it. Now, despite popular claims, there's a lack of scientific research that the carnivore diet is sustainable in the long term. What there is instead is countless studies that show the negative effects of high meat diets compared to plant-based diets. Let's break them down one by one. First, the EPIC study. The EPIC study is one of the largest investigations that's ever been performed to investigate the connection between nutrition and chronic disease. And it involved hundreds of researchers more than 500,000 participants, and 12 years of data. What researchers discovered was very straightforward. Meat, especially processed meats like bacon, cold cuts, sausage, hot dogs, and hamburgers, increase your risk for type 2 diabetes, while eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables reduces your diabetes risk. Another example is the Adventist health studies. Members of the Seventh-day Adventist church follow a whole range of diets, including there's omnivores, there's pesco-vegetarians, semi-vegetarians, lacto-ovo vegetarians, and vegans. An analysis of more than 8,000 people in this community over the course of 17 years found extremely strong relationships between meat consumption and diabetes. There are a number of results from this study, but the big one for us was clear. Those who ate a vegetarian diet in the long term were 74% less likely to develop diabetes even when compared with those who ate meat only once per week. The results continued to be consistent throughout the years. In 2002, researchers performed the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study and analyzed the health of more than 42,000 male subjects over 12 years. They found that men who ate more total and saturated fat developed significantly more cases of type 2 diabetes. This includes findings that men who ate processed meats, these include bacon, hot dogs, hamburgers, sausage, salami, and bologna at least five times per week were 46% more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than those who ate meat once a month. Another massive study was the Nurses Health Study. To this day, this study is one of the largest and most comprehensive on meat and diabetes risk ever performed including an analysis of data that included more than 200,000 men and women taken over the course of 19 years. The results were significant. Eating just one serving per day of unprocessed red meat increased diabetes risk by 12%, and eating one serving per day of processed meat increased diabetes risk by 32%. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Those are just a few of the studies focusing on diabetes without even touching 
on all cause morbidities like cancer and heart disease. In summary, in the long term, the carnivore diet isn't just bad for your diabetes health, it's bad for your overall health. Now, we wouldn't just pose all of these problems without also showing the solution. The proven diet that has been shown to improve your diabetes health and overall health with no questions asked. And the results are clear, based on decades of research, hundreds of studies, and thousands of success stories. And if you've been with us before, you'll know that we're talking about a low-fat, plant-based, whole food diet that's high in whole carbohydrates. This form of nutrition has been proven to dramatically increase insulin sensitivity, which also results in improved diabetes markers like making it easier to control your blood glucose with precision, reducing your insulin use by 10 to 60%. That's for people living with type 1 diabetes. If you're living with type 2, in many cases, you can reduce your insulin by 100%. Reducing your oral medication use by 52% on average, but again, many people completely off their diabetes medications. Improving your time and range, lowering your A1C values by 2% on average, lowering your LDL cholesterol, lowering your blood pressure, and the list goes on. There are other benefits like increasing your energy levels, having permanent weight loss in your life, a boosted immune system, and minimizing your risk for many chronic diseases. And the best part about these results, they're permanent, consistent, and repeatable. That means they work for you for your whole life, not just for months. Now we get it. Eating a carnivorous diet or a ketogenic diet that contains a significant amount of meat is tempting. It's tasty. It has charismatic supporters with compelling resumes and interesting stories all over social media. What it doesn't have is a solid nutritional foundation of randomized control trials, otherwise known as RCTs, or meta-analyses of randomized control trials, which are considered even higher quality evidence, or large-scale epidemiological studies which demonstrate their effectiveness over the course of time. It may not seem as flashy or as bold or as defiant, but when it comes to nutrition, sometimes simple and reasonable is better. And when it comes to living with all forms of diabetes, the lifestyle playbook is actually very simple. Number one, eat a low-fat, plant-based, whole food diet every day into the future. Number two, move your body on a daily basis. Number three, intermittent fast when necessary. Our program alone has proof in the form of hundreds of people with every form of diabetes who have been able to transform their health and take control of their lives completely. And that's the best part. Diabetes health is simple and it's actually in your control. Now, if you'd like, you can apply for our powerful diabetes coaching program. Click on the link in the description below and get started on your journey to maximum insulin sensitivity, to reduce complications, and to unbounded energy. And don't forget to smash that like button like a lot of other YouTubers say. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by clicking that cute little bell icon. When you do, you'll be notified of more videos which will give you the inside scoop on how to truly master your diabetes health. See you next time.